transistor OR gate. The symbol of OR gate is like this and it has two input A and B and Y is the output. The truth table is here A and B are the inputs and Y is the output and it has four conditions when both are zero A1 B0 A0 B1 when both are one and now we have to find out the output as we are designing two input OR gate so we need two transistor these are NPN transistor we have to connect a base resistor to it and here we will provide the inputs A and B collector of the transistor is connected to plus 5 volt for both the transistor and both the emitter are connected together and from here we will take the output also we have to connect a pull down resistor with the output the value can be 10 kilo ohms for 5 volt power supply so this is the OR gate circuit using transistor now we have to analyze this circuit and we have to find out the output now here 0 means 0 volt or it is equal to the ground and 1 means the voltage level is plus 5 volt. Now see for the first condition we are applying 0 in both the inputs. 0 means 0 volt for both the transistor and we know that when we are applying 0 volt in base of the NPN transistor then there will not be any current flow through base and emitter. So the transistor is working as open circuit. Here we have applied plus 5 volt. Here also 0. So this transistor is working as open circuit. As this both transistor are working as open circuit. So this 5 volt is disconnected from the output this 5 volt and this 5 volt and one pull down resistor is connected to output and for this resistor we are getting 0 in this point so for this we are getting 0 in the output now for the second condition we are applying 1 means it is 5 volt to A and here it is 0 volt. Now this transistor is working as closed circuit. And the second transistor is working as open circuit. And we have connected a pull down resistor. Now in this circuit, this 5 volt is directly connected to the output. And in between output and the ground, there is a 10 kilo ohms resistor. So in this way, there is more current than this. As more current is flowing through this, so we will have 5 volt in this point. So for 1 and 0, we will have 1 in the output. And for the third condition also, this transistor will work as closed circuit we will apply 5 volt in this and here we will apply 0 volt and this transistor will work as open circuit now this time this 5 volt is connected to this output not this for the third condition means 0 and 1 and for the fourth condition when both the inputs are 1 then this both 5 volt are connected to the output and this time also we will get 1. So third condition will be 1 and for the fourth condition also. So this is how this circuit works. Now we will see the practical circuit. And for the practical circuit we will use 10 kilo ohms for base resistor. And as a transistor we will use BC548. And to see the output we will connect one LED and then negative pin of the LED 
will be connected to a current limiting resistor of 220 ohms and then it is connected to the ground. Now we will see this circuit on the breadboard. This is BC548. This pin is collector. The middle pin is base and this pin is emitter. Putting the first transistor. Here it is second one. Collector of the transistor are connected to the plus 5 volt. With the base of the transistor we have to connect 10 kilo ohms resistor. This will be input A and this will be input B. Both the emitters are connected together. With the emitter positive pin of the LED is connected and negative pin of the LED is connected with 220 ohms resistor and the resistor is connected to the ground. The emitters or the output is connected to the ground through 10 kilo ohms resistor. Connect both the positive rails and the negative rails. Now our circuit connection is completed. Now we have to check the outputs. Here it is 5 volt positive and the negative. As both the inputs are connected to the zero or ground, so we are getting zero in the output. Now A is 1, we are getting the output A0, B1, we are getting the output when both are 1, we are getting the output. So guys, this is how we can design transistor or gate. Thanks for watching.